And lo, I did wander the trackless desert for forty days and nights in search of sensible transportation until, miraculously, a winged steed appeared before me ready for the riding. And it was good. Okay, so it was only three days. And while Las Vegas is certainly in the desert, I spent those three days wandering around indoors with the Adventure Cyclist folks at last fall's Interbike Trade Show. But a winged steed really did appear before me. And while it's not exactly miraculous, it's certainly ready for the riding. The Chinelli Bootleg Hobo is a blend of cyclocross and touring bike with a triple crank, clearance for 700 by 40 tires, and lots of blue collar bits that can be easily and cheaply adjusted, repaired, or replaced on the road. But its designers also included some novel graphic elements that help the hobo stand out from the crowd, whether it's leaning up against a tree in some urban jungle or locked to a rack outside a coffee shop. The sturdy Columbus Cromor frame set has three sets of bottle bosses, a spokes holder, and a chain hanger. And along with the usual rack and fender eyelets, it has actual racks and fenders, the former from Tubus. The hobo even includes a set of Welgo pedals, so you can load it up and put it to work on the tracks of your choice straight out of the boxcar. This is a versatile steel bike you can ride loaded or stripped down, uphill or downhill, in good weather or in bad. It has a few shortcomings, but they're easy to resolve and even easier to overlook. The Chinelli bootleg hobo is lots more fun to ride than a boxcar. And it's easier to hang in your garage, too. For my complete review of the Chinelli Bootleg Hobo, be sure to see the April issue of Adventure Cyclist magazine. I'm Patrick O'Grady. Thanks for watching.